Use footgalaxy.com for your packs, bets, and FIFA bets with FIFA coins. Link is in the description below. What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to a FIFA 16 starter squad builder. You're probably thinking to yourself, FIFA 16 is not out yet, how can you do this? I'm gonna show you basically what I think will be the best starting squad in FIFA 16, based on knowledge of previous games and the way I know this game plays through playing it through the beta, and seeing other people play it, um, you know, at the EA Vancouver event and so on and so forth. So before we get into this video, if you could drop a thumbs up, it would be absolutely awesome. And I know what you're thinking, and I know what the comments are saying. My god, that haircut. Well, you look like Santi... Or I don't look like Santi Cazorla, but the hair is apparently like his. Not trying that. Honestly, it's just a mess. I really need to get it cut. I know I need to get it cut. I will get it cut today. The day you're watching this video, I'm going to go and get my hair cut. Hell yeah. So, starter squad builder. What are we doing with this? We're going for the BPL, um, of course. The main reason we're going for the BPL is because it's 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 the league with the most players in it, basically, like the most decent, low-rated players. It's the league that's going to be pulled the most in packs, um, and it's just one of the, the typically like the the strongest leagues, especially for the lowest-rated players. We're going to start from back to front as well, and in goal we are going to go with Tim Howard. Now, it took a long time to look at all the goalkeepers that there could have been, and uh, there was a few that we could have gone with. Could have gone with Valdez, could have gone with Begovic, both 82 rated. The reason why I went with uh, Howard is because he's got a really nice, well-rounded card, but also because he's 80 rated, he will be pulled a lot in packs, and he should be relatively cheap. And the fact that he will be pulled a lot in packs means that you'll be able to pick up a few bargains on the market and get yourself a really tidy goalkeeper to start with. In at right back, guys, I have gone for Neom. So, Neom at we uh, Watford. Um, the reason why I went with Neom is a few reasons. Number one, he's got decent pace for a right back. Number two, his defending and physical are very nice for a right back. And he's 77 rated. So, once again, he's going to be so cheap because he's solo rated. He will be pulled a lot. Now, obviously, Nathaniel Klein, Carl Walker, maybe Hector Bellerin will be the players that people go for during the, the you know, as the game gets going. But to start with, you're just looking for a solid, cheap player, and Neom's going to be that guy for you. In at centre-back, the first centre-back we have got is going to be Ashley Williams. Now, the reason why I picked Ashley Williams first and foremost is because his defending and physical are incredible. Uh, for again an 80 rated player you know but he's also got medium high work rates which is nice for a centre back he's got 68 pace which is going to be good um, we say it every year and I don't really want to confirm or commend to something like this but pace isn't as relevant this year as in previous years the gameplay is so much slower um, strength and, and uh, uh, other attributes are more influential not to say that pace will be irrelevant but it's just not as relevant. So 68 pace on a centre back is fantastic. And the other centre back we have gone for is going to be Mika Richards. And the reason why we go for Mika Richards is because he has got, again, for a 79 rated card, medium, medium work rates, 85 physical and 78 defending with really good pace as well. 76 pace. Mika Richards, another solid centre back, is going to be great for us there. And then in at left back, I've actually gone for Martin Olsen. Um, you could take Holobas here as well, both going to be super cheap, super low uh, low rated, which means they're going to be pulled a lot, they're going to be cheap. Uh, I went for Olsen because of the high medium work rates, the decent enough pace, but then he's got also really nice dribbling, really good defending and really good physical for a super low rated left back. He's going to be a lot of fun to use and again, we're, we're looking at a starter squad, we're not looking at big squads, expensive squads or oh my god, how have you not got cliche and walker at those right backs no one's going to want to use these guys we're looking for like okay i'm three four games in i played against ai enough so that i've got a nice record and now i can afford a decent team to go into online played the foot draft got a few packs got a bit of coins under my belt this is what i want to build like this is what i've got this is the sort of team you're going to want to build in at cdm we have got the cock blocker and it is indeed francis cocker lane and the reason again why i went with cocker lane there were a few other variations and I'm sure you guys would see other people that you might prefer that might be cheap as well. The reason why I went with Cochrane is because he's got an incredibly well-rounded card and he's got medium high work rates. Now, one of the things that I look for personally in a CDM in FIFA 15 was height and he's 5 foot 10, so he's kind of borderline not tall enough. You know, I, I prefer 6 foot and above, but those 2 inches isn't going to be too much. 
but he's got over 70 in all stats except shooting. For a CDM, that's incredible. And again, for 78 rated CDM, he's gonna be super cheap and he's gonna fit into your BPL teams like an absolute gem. On the left-hand side, guys, we have got a newly transferred player, and that is Gradel. Um, again, 79 rated, four-star skill. I do believe he's still got four-star skill moves. Anyway, let's take a quick look. He has still got four-star skill moves. There you go. So four-star skill moves on Gradel. Uh, 88 pace and 82 dribbling with 71 passing and 74 shooting is going to be very, very nice. Not the best defensively or physical, um, but that's going to be hopefully not important. And again, th th this team and these players are kind of players that you use you play a few games and then you can upgrade because you've got the extra coins from playing those extra few games. So Gradel is going to be very good for you on that left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we're going to go for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now, again, there is options that you can take on this right-hand side that aren't Chamberlain. But Chamberlain, just like Coquelin, has over 70 in every stat except defending on this occasion. And he's got over 80 in dribbling and pace, which is nice. Decent shooting, decent passing. Very nice physical for a winger. Four-star, four-star. I do believe he's still four-star, four-star anyway. Um, he is indeed still four-star, four-star. And he would just be a great right mid. And again, because he's so low rated, he's going to be pulled a lot. He's going to be flooded on the market. And you're going to easily be able to pick him up for absolute bargains. No question about it. In at camp, once again, there is a lot of options that you can take at camp. Um, I've gone with Bojan because of the high-low work rates and the fact that I really like Bojan in FIFA 15. Another one with four-star skill moves. I can't iterate enough how important things like this are to have the extra skill moves there. Could be very important throughout the game. Good, good stats all around for a cam. Nice passing, great dribbling, good pace, lovely shooting. And, and if you look at his in-game stats as well, when you look at his shooting area of things, the things that you're actually looking for, the long shots and the shot power, they're, they're decent. You know, the finishing is not the best, but he's not going to be in the striker position. He shouldn't really be the guy in the box for you. So it's not really that important for him to have the highest finishing. Of course, the more the better. But his finishing at 71, his shot power at 77, his long shots at 74 are absolutely magnificent. Coupled with that four-star skill moves, brilliant indeed. So we've gone for the strikers, guys. First of all, we have gone for um, a guy who year on year is incredible in FIFA, doesn't get as much recognition in FIFA as he deserves, and is always just one of those underrated, overpowered strikers. In FIFA 15, I rarely see teams with Remy, even though he's incredible. In FIFA 16, I probably think he's going to be incredible as well. And the reason being is that he is another with the four-star skill moves. In my opinion, vital for a striker. He's got 90 pace, which although when I say pace isn't the most relevant thing anymore, having 90 pace is still going to help you out in situations, for sure. He's got 71 physical, which is lovely. He's got 74 dribbling, which is great. But he's got 80 finishing, 80 shooting. When you look at his in-game stats again, finishing 83, positioning 81. This here and his jumping here and heading here, they are going to be vital. Heading is OP from what I've played in FIFA. Heading is OP. But although heading is OP, crossing is not OP. So he, if you do get the ball on his head, he will score the goals. If you don't, he won't. Happy days. The last striker that we're going to have, guys, last but not least, is going to be Javier Hernandez. And uh, the Man United striker back in BPL colours. 86 pace, 76 dribbling, but again, 80 shooting. 80 shooting on both of these super cheap strikers is going to be great. There are other strikers you will be able to use, no question about it. I personally would go for these guys. I think this team's going to be relatively cheap. Um, obviously, it's not going to be like 5k or anything like that. You're still going to have to put the effort in to try and find the deals for you. But these are the sort of players, you know, the 76 to 80 rated that are going to be flooded on the market, super cheap, but they're OP because they've got the stats in the relevant areas to improve your team and help you in FIFA. So this, guys, for me, is going to be the best starting squad for FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. It's what I'm going to work towards once I get my hands on the game in a week or so time. Can't wait for that. Link in the description if you want, guys, your Foothead or FootWiz links to your starting squad, what you think you're going to go for in FIFA 16. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.